when not if, large-scale movement on San Andreas Fault, prompting fears of major quake. Scientists have revealed they have detected large-scale movement within the San Andreas Fault line, prompting fears a mega quake could be on its way. There is consensus among scientists that a magnitude 7 or 8 earthquake is overdue on the 800-mile fault that runs through California, because there has not been a significant one since the 7.9 big one that hit California in 1857, 159 years ago. Earthquake expert Trevor Nace said, in earthquake prediction, geologists work in probability distributions rather than absolute terms. Consensus is growing, however, of the likelihood of a large and devastating earthquake to strike California. News of the movement detected has led to fears strain in the fault line could be building for another severe tremor. It was already feared a big one could be brewing after a series of magnitude 3 and above earthquakes stuck in California in the past fortnight. The latest came yesterday when a shallow magnitude 3 earthquake was reported three miles from Big Bear Lake, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, at 9.21 p.m. local time. It is feared when it goes, around 140,000 people could be killed and many more injured, and it will be the U.S.'s worst natural disaster since Hurricane Katrina. But the new study, published in the journal Nature Geosciences, could help scientists use smaller lobes of vertical motion to predict when more significant ruptures are likely to happen, possibly giving more warning. For the study, geologists analyzed GPS data to reveal new areas of motion around the San Andreas fault system. The top diagram shows the movement, with areas of uplift in red and those of subsidence in blue. Using data collected by the Earth's Scope Plate Boundary Observatory's GPS array, researchers identified 125-mile wide lobes of uplift and subsidence. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingme.webs.com.